Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Sylvan Tale. Last time we uh, went into this kind of storage area where we found a guy who was sort of imprisoned, gave him some flowers, he felt better. Come on turtle, that's better. And gave us this comb to give to his sister. I think we already know where his sister is actually. We have a bit of warping to do. We're gonna go to Verda Village, but first, I, in my, you know, forgetful way, forgot to get an orange of all things from a chest, so we're gonna go there now. This chest is after you trigger the water from the dam and you come out, it's just slightly to the right. Inside, delicious orangitude. Well, doesn't restore your health though. For that, we'll need something else. Okay, now over to Verda Village. Ooh. Okay, we're back in Verda Village. Well, just before it, the kids are still playing with that Dagadombo, which they'll never ever give to me again. But one kid isn't playing. One kid is a very sad kid indeed, and I don't like this state of affairs particularly. So we are going to remedy it. See this girl? Yeah, she mentions her older brother. Older brother? Our red mage friend in the cave. Let's show this to her. Oh, she has hair. Same colour of hair. Well, not really. Yep, either that or I just took it from his dead body, but but no, he's alive. <laughs> no point in joking about that sort of thing. Hooray! These are grapes. These are the equivalent of um, a fairy, I guess. Is grapes a citrus fruit? I don't know, but they, they're great. If you have them equipped, if you fall down and die for whatever reason, all your health gets uh, replenished back to normal, so we'll be needing those hopefully not too soon, but uh, for some of the final boss encounters they're going to be invaluable. Okay, we have to get back now to Flora Village for some more village questing fun, so uh, I'll see you over there. <laughs> oh man, all this warping. Not good. Exit's toll. Remember this little boy? This little boy likes flowers. No, not wolves and moles and goodness knows what. Flowers. Will you speak to me now I have flowers? That's a nice smell. Let me see those. Yoink. Hey, those are my flowers. Oh. Uh, okay. I'm kind of getting this is going to be important. You feel better somehow. That's because they're magic flowers. Oh, cool. Not that I did that for any sort of particular reward. Let's put the flowers away. Follow me. This away. Okay. Ah, this was closed off before. I guess he has stump removal powers. Either that or an axe. I'm hoping the former. Oh wow! It's a cute little, cute little Glen. Thank you. Oh, more than just a Glen. Another transformation. Bow chicka wow wow. The art of the mouse. And the seed may envelop your body and guide you into narrow spaces. Let's test out our mousy form. And this one? We're really tiny. And this is really good. Automatic running powers. This one's fast. In fact, the next form is also quite fast too, but this one's just great. Look at us, we're a cute little mouse. And you can also use a saw when you're a mouse. Or the seed. You can poke them. 
Or punch him, maybe. I think that's supposed to be a punch. I don't know what's happening there. You can't talk to the kid anymore. Not when you're a mouse. Hee 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 hee. So much fun. We now need to get our way over to the jungle. But I'm not going to use warping this time. Just going to be a mouse. Let's face it, it's fun to be a mouse. Just to show you how quick things are now. My warping powers? Now pointless. I really should have got an apple though. Oh well. We have grapes. I'm gonna try not to use grapes. Need ourselves a compass. And we're gonna go into the jungle. Compass will point you in the right direction. You look kind of like a lemming more than a mouse, to be honest. I'm not gonna complain. Oh, who's this fellow? It is Garcia. Give me the seed, or the babe gets it. Hey! You just, you just hit us! You're getting stabbed! Donk! I'll donk you good! Gah. He doesn't want to get kidnapped by monsters. Fair to use. Oh man, normal running seems so slow compared to mouse running. It does have the added advantage that you're not going to get swallowed by a snake. A wimboe, a wimboe. Oh, what's this? Orange. Why, oh, thank you. Our life bar getting pretty substantial now. Unfortunately, that means we're getting ever closer towards the end of the game. Not anything quite so soon, though. Forget you, snakey boy. Oh! Oh ho ho, how the mighty have fallen. He got hit by boulders. <laughs> Let's leave him be. There's nothing in here. Ah. Oh well. Let's rescue him, shall we? Shall we? I'll go on. Mole time! I guess Garcia speaks mole. It's not like you'll figure out these switches either. Fine. We're gonna need to go into mole for this so we don't get hit. The switches? Well, you'll see. They change what's going on inside here. So, now we've got blue slime power. Oh my gosh, just to show you how weak you become when you're the mouse. We've got blue slime paradise coming on here. And we want to get up there to that little crystal, crystal orb. They're not hard, they're just tougher versions of normal slimes. There we go. That part completed. You know what? Back to the mouse. Whee! And now this one. I'm just going to ignore the, uh, the slimes there. And the last one, we'll want both. Oh, if you walk on those normally, they crumble away. But if you're the mouse, not a problem for you. Oh, we have succeeded in weakening ourselves through hasty decision making. Okay, I'm gonna call that one a wrap. Next time on Let's Play Sylvan Tale, we go into the final unlocked area of the Jungle Labyrinth. 
Ooh, and then some fun things can take place. All that next time. I'm Malefact. Till then, ciao.